Okay, now let us see how the program or the layer logic functions for our description which I have given already. First, let us understand the labels which I have given here, which is uh, very much customized for uh, my un own understanding. So, let me explain you that. So, I have the on and off switches, master and master off, which I have connected to the memory bit and I don't want to waste extra relay here. So, I have used it with a memory bit and I have the limit switches which is named as LS1, LS2, LS3 and LS4 and according to the position where it is placed, it is given cylinder 1 home position, cylinder 2 home position, cylinder 1 extended position, cylinder 2 extended positions like that and we have the object sensing sensor here x1 is object sensing sensor and uh, as actuators we are going to have the motor here in y1 and y2 y3 is to actuate the solenoids which is going to control the cylinder one and we are going to have a gripper it is also a solenoid but this valve is going to be a spring retain valve so only one uh, solenoid only we are using for gripper if you want we can use two grip uh, two solenoids as well and uh, here y4 and y5 is used as a solenoids for controlling the cylinder number two it is also double acting type of uh, valve so we are using two solenoids here and one more memory bit is used for controlling purpose so this is the labels for the respective switches and coils motors right so let us understand the later logic for the above said problem let me first simulate this let me download the program keep it in run mode and put it in the viewpoint okay so as i said now i am going to turn on the process by turning on the on switch so now the machine is on i turned on the turn on switch so since it is a push button type so immediately i switch off this so now the memory bit is enabled and wherever i have used this memory contacts everywhere it is getting on now let us assume the cylinders 1 and 2 is in home position so ls1 the limit switch 1 and limit switch 3 is going to be in on condition So when these two cylinders are in home position and the master on switch is on, then the conveyor motor is going to run. When the conveyor motor is running, it is going to bring the workpiece near to the gripper. Until then, the conveyor motor is going to run. Once the <coughs> object is sensed by the sensor, then the object sensor is going to get on. Once the object sensor is sensed the object, it is triggering the cylinder 1 to go forward. So that means it is detached from the home position of the cylinder 1. So it will go off here. Though the signal is turned off for this solenoid, it is a memory wall. So it will not stop the signal from the pneumatic side. It will go until the last or extended position. Right. Now, when the cylinder is extended fully, the sensor in the extended position is getting on. Once this is achieved, now we have to do two actions. One, we have to grip the object and also we have to give a signal for cylinder to return back. So, Y3 is used for cylinder 1 retraction and gripper is with Y6. So, both getting signal. So, that means cylinder 1 is going to retract. So, once it is getting retracted and the object is gripped, so object in the conveyor is going to be removed. So, we will switch off this and it is also going to detach from this sensor. So, that is extended position sensor. So, now the object is taken back to the home position of the cylinder 1. Now, the next step is 
the cylinder two has to extend the arm so that the object goes near to the box. This will be achieved only when the cylinder reaches to the home position for the cylinder one. So the LS two, sorry LS one, here. So when it is reached to home position, it is getting on. So now the cylinder two is extending the arm. So once the cylinder two is extending the arm, now it will reach to the extended position. That means near to the box. When it is doing this work, it is detached from LS three home position. So I will switch off this, and it reaches to LS four. That is cylinder two extended position. So it is getting on. So here still the cylinder is in home position for cylinder one. So it is in on condition itself. Now it is reached to LS four. Now what we have to do? We have to bring the cylinder one again down to place the object. So already picking is done. Now we have to place. Now we can see here what happens when the cylinder number two is fully extended. The power supply goes in this way, and the cylinder one again extends. That means it is bringing the object down near the box. Now here. Cylinder one home position will be off because cylinder one is going down now. Cylinder four still is in extended condition. Now the cylinder one is in the fully extended condition. That means it is reached to the box. So now this will be on. When this is on, so that means the object is brought to the, near to the box. Now the gripper has to release. So this memory contact is used to re, uh, remove the supply for the gripper here Y6. So gripper off. So when the gripper is off, then again the cylinder has to retract back. The cylinder one has to retract back. You can see here the cylinder one is retracting through the memory bit here. The cylinder one is retracting back. So now the object is placed inside the box and the cylinder. One is going to the home position. So now, when the cylinder one is going to the home position, so that means this cylinder one extended position will be go to off state again. We will see where is cylinder one extended position. Cylinder one extended position. Yeah, here. So cylinder one extended position is off because it is detached from that extended position. Now it is going to the home position. So once it is reaching to cylinder one home position, cylinder one home position, again this is getting on, and this LS three is already in home position. So again the process start continuing. So now. The object is picked from the place from the conveyor, and it extends to near to the box. And again, the cylinder goes down and removes the grip, and then the object is placed inside the box. It goes back to the home position, and the cylinder two retracts back to its home position. So once this cycle is done, then again the motor one, that is conveyor one, is going to get on. So the next object is going to come to the The gripper place, so the gripper will again uh, take the object according to the cycle what we have done. So this is how the program or the ladder is written for the description what I have given in the problem. Hope it is clear. If you have not understood or if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment box uh, because uh, this is a bit little uh, complicated problem. So we have to thoroughly understand it. Then only you can write the code. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, we will have like this more uh, practical and uh, industrial applications. And if you like the content, please like, comment, and share, because your likes and share makes the content to reach to more people, which will be helpful for others as well. Thank you.